What's up guys? Today we're going to be taking this normal Intel Nook and we're going to be turning it into this inside of this Akasa waterproof indestructible case. So here's the Nook motherboard. I've already taken it out of the case, but I wanted to show you um, how easy it is to take it out. Uh, you have four screws on the bottom. So you take off the bottom of the Nook just like you would if you were assembling it. And basically the Nook is going to be sitting inside of here. The Nook will be sitting inside like that and you'll have a couple of Phillips screws to take out on the edges and then basically you just turn it upside down and shake it out. And then this comes out. This little connector we're going to actually disconnect. That's going to be to the front panel for the LEDs. We're not going to be using those in the new case. And then you're left with just the motherboard. And these two wires go to the Bluetooth and the Wi-Fi uh, card. And then the other thing, because the instructions are pretty bad, is this fan is mounted like that. So you're actually going to remove this screw here and then there's a little fan screw here and a fan screw here. You're going to take those off and this is going to remove and expose the bottom of the CPU. And here's a look inside of the panel of the case. So you've got your wires for the case. This is where the CPU is going to sit. So they give you this thermal compound. So what we're going to do is actually put some thermal compound on here. Okay, so from there what I'm going to do is, this is the rear of the Nook. So before I slide this into place, I'm going to go ahead and plug all the cables in. There you go. So it looks like with all the cables plugged in. And then this is going to be to the front I.O. panel. Okay. So there's with that plugged in. And this comes with this thermal adhesive that you'll put over the SSD, the M.2 SSD, then you put this little, stick this little material on there, and then that goes on top. And now what I'm going to do is just slowly push this back into place. Okay, so now the nook is in place and you just have to put the four screws in. Okay, so here's what it looks like. We've got our four screws. One here, 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 and here tightened. So the Nook motherboard is now attached to the case. Um, what I've done here is when I removed the Bluetooth connector and the wireless adapter from the original Nook, I took one of the bars that they give you. They give you these bars that are used 
can be used to uh, attach a secondary SSD, which we're not going to be using. So I attach them to this bar. And this bar will actually get mounted across here like it normally would with an SSD. So here's a look at with this bar. So the bar, and I took the adhesive tape from the, uh, the Bluetooth and the wireless adapter and just taped them to that bar. So what you're left with is a uh, nice little bar across the top there with the wireless adapter in place. So now we're ready to put the top back on. And take the weatherproof stripping, put it into place. So here we are, we have the, the top securely fastened with all the screws and supposedly this is IP65 waterproof fanless case. So um, on the back you have all your connections. So your power adapter will plug into this extender which then plugs in to here and this will actually thread on. So we have a waterproof bond now with the power cable and uh, there's only one USB port so here's our USB cable same thing we'll just plug that in we'll slide right over and thread on so then you're left with a little USB extension which we can then plug our little portable hub into that here's our little Ethernet adapter plug to we'll plug into the back Thread that on. And lastly, we have our little HDMI cable, which we'll go ahead and thread that in as well. So here's a look at the front, completely airtight now, here's a look at the back. So in our hub we're going to go ahead and plug in our mouse and keyboard. Okay, we have our mouse and keyboard plugged in so we're going to go ahead and uh, boot up to this USB drive and install Windows. Here's a look at the front, went ahead and pressed the power button, so let you know that we've got activity going. So I did want to show you real quick that they do give you some mounting brackets so you can actually use this to mount it on a wall. They also give you two of these brackets for you to actually mount a full size two and a half inch SSD so you could actually use two hard drives and they give you uh, the power and the SATA cable. So you could actually use those to have two hard drives going as well. Okay so here's a look at the front of the Nook. We got our sticker 7th gen uh, processor there. So you got your uh, power button here, you have your uh, power light and hard drive indicator. So here's a look at our system settings. You got that i5 7th gen processor with 8 gigs of RAM. And we have Windows 10 Pro installed on here. This is for a client that's going to be um, out in the elements right on the beach. So that's why they have this crazy case. It's not that they intend on it going underwater, but Obviously it could get splashed and uh, that's why we have this nifty heavy duty case. Also the uh, the salt corrosion out there is pretty bad so this should help with that. Okay so here's the uh, finished product here. Got a waterproof case. It's pretty much indestructible so I'll leave the link to this case down in the description below so you can go ahead and check that out if you ever need something like this. It's waterproof, weatherproof, and 
pretty much indestructible. So uh, yeah, I'll leave the link down in the description for it and feel free to check it out. And uh, as always, thanks for watching.